Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On this week's show, we're back in beautiful Labrador at Park Lake Lodge. Our quarry for this week, giant Eastern Brook Trout. We'll talk about rods, reels, flies, techniques, and everything you need to know to take one of these big brook trout. It's gonna be a great show. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Let him go back to live another day. Oh, away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions. On this week's show, we visit Park Lake Lodge in Labrador. Park Lake forms the headwaters of the majestic Eagle River and is located 62 air miles southeast of Goose Bay. The lake itself is accessible only by air, usually by twin otter or helicopter transfer from Goose Bay, which takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Park Lake is most renowned for its brook trout fishing. The brook trout here are running up to 6 pounds and over. Northern pike up to 15 pounds are common, and 15 to 20 pound Atlantic salmon frequent the pools from mid-August through September. The lake itself is approximately 10 miles long and 6 miles wide with many deep inlets and bays. Various sized islands with boulder reefs and shoals make superb feeding habit for brook trout. As well, some of the bays and inlets are filled with pond lilies and grasses making excellent hiding places for northern pike. I only had a few hours to fish on the first day due to my late arrival, but that didn't deter me. I was extremely excited to try out the waters. With no hatches happening, I decided to try the most common subsurface pattern, the woolly bugger. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what this is. I, it's taken out a lot of drag. It could be a big pike, or it could be a good, decent size brook trout. But it's certainly fighting hard. Oh, it's a massive pike. Look at this. Look at the size of this pike. Oh my God. <laughs> now watch when he comes up here. Look at the size of him. It's a good pike. Now I got him near the rocks. He's not ready yet. He's still pretty green. This is a good pike. My goodness. Pass me up the net, please. Boy, good sized fish. He's not quite ready. He sees the net. Keep him. Wowie. Head first and away we go. Ha ha ha! Well, isn't this something? Now, let's get my. Because he does have a mouthful of teeth. Take a barbless hook out. And I have a stripping glove on, so this should be pretty good. Now, how's that for your start, eh? Not bad at all. Not bad. Fight like crazy. I, I figured it was a pike when I first hit it because it just screamed out some line. Uh, just stripping it back, casting it around the rocks, stripping it back. And it just, it just bit. I wasn't doing anything fancy. Allowing it to sink a bit, get near the bottom. There we go, come on. 
and away he goes. Now, that was good. <laughs> now, my quarry really is Brook Road here, but I'll take a pike like that any day. That was a lot of fun. It screamed the line out. It was, uh, as soon as I hooked it, I knew I had a big fish. I was hoping it was gonna be a Brook Road, but I'm, I have nothing against pike. I haven't met a fish I didn't like yet. all summer long. Occasionally one will come on the island there and we'll just discourage it and it'll leave and to keep the guests safe. But around the shoreline you'll probably see a few bears. We see moose and caribou, maybe a dozen to 15 per summer, you know, around the shoreline. And we got the uh, otters, mink, pine marten. See, the, the lodge is not an island. You don't see much of that stuff right here. It's usually when you're fishing around the shore, you'll see those things. Here we go, fish on. We're around some shoals here, and this is generally where, where the fish want to lay around, any kind of rocks or structure. Feels pretty good. Haven't seen it yet. It feels like a, like a brook trout. Pike would be dragging line out like crazy right now. Here we go. I got a muddler minnow on, which is one of the oldest flies that they have for brook trout. It was invented in Nipigon, Ontario, actually. Let's see, let's see, what is it? It looks like a brook trout. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, this time of year, they're, they're not colored up. In the fall, they get Brilliant red bellies on them. There we go. This is a two and a half. Yeah, it's only about two and a half. Let's bring it in here. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put a glove on. Typical Park Lake Brook Trout. I'm going to get him back in the water as quick as I can. And away he goes. <laughs> didn't, didn't take much for him to release. Uh, we got some crazy bad weather right now. Cold front's going through. It's been tough fishing, I won't lie to you. Um, when a cold front uh, comes through, it does affect the fishing. Uh, the, 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 the pressure, bar barometric pressure, uh, puts them off for some reason. So the fishing's been tough this morning, but it's, it looks like it's picking up a little bit. So we'll try that again. Brook trout, also known as speckled trout, are among the world's most highly prized game fish. Water temperature is a key factor in determining brook trout habitat. Most studies have shown that trout will maintain a normal regimen in temperatures ranging from 40 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take a few degrees on the high or the low side. This ideal range of temperatures is when you will find the trout actively feeding. Look for this temperature range along with structures such as logs and submerged rocks when searching out brook trout. Well, our, our brook trout, they probably the smallest you're going to catch anywhere around the lake is a, a pound and a half, and you catch very few of them. The average fish is about four pounds, and we have, we've got them up to eight pounds here. And the numbers uh, depend on the weather conditions and the time of year you're here. Good, good weather conditions, you would catch anywhere from half a dozen fish up to 30, 40 fish a day. 
it's it's quite common. Another trout on here, and uh, right now the rain is still it's going pretty good. Which uh, sorry, folks, we never got the hookup on this, but we've got to keep the camera covered. It's raining pretty hard. But uh, muddler minnow again, good old standard fly. Uh, it's only going down probably a foot or two. We're in about five to six feet of water. And we're over shoals. And what I mean by shoals are rocks and, and structure for the fish. They hide in, 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 in between the rocks itself and wait to ambush something. And another, it's bending over the six weight pretty good. So yeah, they're good feisty fish. It's about the same as the last one, about two pounds maybe, maybe a little lighter. Well, maybe a little bit. That's, that's about two. There we go. Okay. Got it. Great. I just love brook trout. They fight so hard. When they hit, they mean business. They generally there to kill. And away it goes. Yes, we're gonna do that again. Sir. Boy, it just pounded it as the pounding rain comes down. <laughs> I gotta get that low. I'm down by the by the motor. So I had to dip the, the tip of the rod into the into the water. It's only a small fish. This is considered quite small for the area. This might be a pound and a half at the most. Get the net and slide it back, keep the head up, slide it back, and into the net. There we go. And a nice, so this is really tiny for the area. So I'm gonna release them. Anyway. <laughs> The main lodge at Park Lake has very comfortable rooms with private washrooms and a cozy and inviting sitting area where many a fish tale have been told. Here delightful aromas from the kitchen fill the air. There's nothing like the smell of homemade bread baking in the oven. The service is second to none. You can enjoy traditional Newfoundland and Labrador meals that are hearty and are good for the soul and great after a long day's journey. Yeah, we got a storm heading towards us. You can see down here. And whenever you get a storm heading towards you, the fishing generally picks up. Not a very big one. Or by Labrador standards, it's not very big. <laughs> by everywhere else in the country, it's big. It's not bad. It's not bad. There we go. Now you can see right here that this has been bit by a pike. Grabbed, so that had to be, a, for a fish this big to be bitten by a pike, that had to be a pretty big pike. But uh, nice young, nice little one. Yeah, he's actually, you can see the teeth marks right by his fins there. Poor little guy, I'll let him go right away then. It's a rough life living in Labrador, I'll tell you, for a trout. Uh, they have everything here to, that they gotta avoid. Uh, eagles, ospreys, uh, any other number of pike. Uh, the pike are all over the place, so it's a hard life for them. And then when they're small, they have to avoid 
their own kind because they're uh, cannibalistic. So it's a tough life. <laughs> Park Lake is known for its prolific hatches of mayflies and dry fly action. But as luck would have it, I came on a week where there is rain in the forecast for the next several days, keeping the topwater action slow. But that said, topwater action is only 10% of the time, with 90% of the time the fish feeding subsurface. Get on the reel. It just hammered it. I just started. Got it cast out there and just started it. Wow. Come on. We've had a rough morning. Things have warmed up just a little bit. I think that's turned the fish on a bit. Yeah, it's a trout. Pretty sure it's a trout. Well, oh, this is a good fish. Boy, this guy just hammered it. Like I say, that's why I like brook trout so much. When they attack something, they really attack it. Yeah, it's a good fish. There we go. Oh yeah, now we're talking. This is a good chunky fish here. That's a little better. Yeah. Good and fat. Look at how fat it is underneath. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, I'm gonna slowly put him over the side here. And you wait until they tell you they want to go. They'll wiggle and they'll actually swim out of your hands. You, you got to be patient sometimes. There he goes. He's getting ready. And away he goes. Let's talk a little bit about the equipment that you need to bring with you to Park Lake. Uh, the main rod you're gonna use is a number six, nine foot number six weight. Uh, mid flex will be fine. Uh, you want something that you can cast dry flies with, but also be able to cast some weighted uh, streamers uh, when the fish are down deep. Uh, for the most part, a floating line will do to match your rod. Uh, reels, um, I like large arbor reels only because you can you can uh, wind them in faster, but that's not a necessity. But a good reel with a, a, a solid drag on it you need. Uh, so the fish get quite large here. Now this is number six. I've also set up a number eight weight rod here. And I have a full sinking line on. This is for the pike. They have some monstrous pike in this area and you need something with a little stouter for them. Uh, plus. Uh, a full sinking line. There is some deep holes here that you're going to have to get into if you want to get those big toothy critters. Um, but uh, it also serves good as a good backup rod. Now remember, you're coming a long way in here, so you need a backup rod. Again, large arbor reel. I like them. Not necessary, but I like them. Uh, they work good for me. You can really pick up the line fast. The flies you should bring with you to Park Lake are zonkers in various colors, muddler minnows, mickey fins, and woolly buggers. And don't forget the dry flies such as black gnats, green drakes, royal wolves, and orange bombers. Notice some of them starting to rise again. That means the activity is happening again. Wow.
This guy's giving me a battle. Wow. This is what you're looking for when you come to Park Lake. This is a very, very good fish. This is what you're looking for when you come to Park Lake. Wowie. And I shall get, oh God, look at this. Look at the, the spots on him. Oh no. Get in there. <laughs> so, very nice fish. Gotta love it. My glove is soaked with slime, so I'll let him go this way. Come on, buddy. Gotta wait until he's ready. And away he goes. Wow. Wasn't that a good time? Well, it just shows you that you find the proper structure, use the proper presentation, combined with the fly, you'll have success. I highly recommend you come to Park Lake for your next outing. It's been a blast. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions.